is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my friend, uh, Mrs. Ross Layton, for yielding me the time, and Mr. Quigley for introducing uh, this important resolution. The Community of Democracies, a global intergovernmental coalition of over 100 democratic states, has prov proven its support for the promotion of democracy and civil society over the decade since its founding. I'd like to take this opportunity to highlight as Mrs. Ross Layton appropriately mentioned before, the leadership of the Republic of Lithuania, which took over the presidency of the Community of Democracies in July 2009. Lithuania has shown remarkable leadership in pressing forward with the community's agenda of promoting democracy, human rights, and freedom in oppressed lands such as Burma, Belarus, and Cuba. Under the guidance of Ambassador Sigimantas Pavilionis, Chief Coordinator of Lithuania's Presidency of the Community of Democracies, the community created a parliamentary forum in March of this year. I've been impressed by Ambassador Pavilionis' exceptional leadership and commitment to strengthening the role of the Community of Democracies in fulfilling its mission of promoting democratic institutions and civil society. In March of this year, I was privileged to attend the convening meeting of the Parliamentary Forum of the Community of Democracies in Vilnius, Lithuania. At the first meeting of the Parliamentary Forum, Emanuelis Singeris, chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the Seimas, the Parliament of Lithuania, was elected as the first president of the Parliamentary Forum of the Community of Democracies. Mr. Zingeris is a charismatic and brilliant leader who will doubtless be an effective president of the Parliamentary Forum throughout his term. Also at the Parliamentary Forum, I had the great honor of being elected one of the seven vice presidents of the new entity, along with fellow vice presidents Mikhail Tomasz Kaminski, Polish member of the European Parliament and chairman of the European Conservatives and Reformists in the European Parliament, Michael Galler, German member of the European Parliament of the group of the European People's Party. Alexander Vondra, a senator from the Czech Republic. Adriana Gonzalez Carrillo, a senator of the Republic of Mexico. David Kilgore, former member of Parliament and well-known human rights activist in Canada. And David Magdas, say, speaker of the Parliament of Georgia. Notably, the Parliamentary Forum's first adopted resolution at its convening meeting on March 12, 2010, called for the support of Cuba's pro-democracy movement. I have a copy of that resolution, Mr. Speaker, here. I would ask unanimous consent to insert it into the record. With that objection. And the Parliamentary Forum's international solidarity as demonstrated by this resolution, a strong and very uh, appropriate, well-written resolution that, for example, honors, and I read from it, Cuban pro-democracy fighters, such as the martyr Orlando Zapata Tamayo, and expresses its uh, admiration for the efforts of other heroes such as Guillermo Fariñas. This is a concrete, specific demonstration of genuine solidarity by the Parliamentary Forum of the Community of Democracies with the suffering people of Cuba and the freedom fighters who within Cuba are struggling to bring democracy and freedom to that land. Orlando Zapata Tamayo was assassinated uh, by the Cuban dictatorship uh, and he died after over 80 days on hunger strike protesting the tortures that he was continuously subjected to as a political prisoner. And Guillermo Fariñas is, as we speak, on a hunger strike in Cuba. This institution, the Parliamentary Forum of the Community of Democracies, expressed its solidarity with these human rights fighters, and uh, fighters for freedom, uh, and that way, in that way demonstrated uh, its genuine commitment uh, to furthering democratic institutions and assisting those who are fighting for freedom. The resolution today, Mr. Speaker, 
that will be passed by the Congress of the United States in support of commending the community of democracies on its 10th anniversary is timely. I wholeheartedly support it. I commend the community of democracies for 10 years of leadership, and I urge all of my colleagues to vote for this resolution. Again, thank you, Mr. Engel. Thank you, Mrs. ross Uh This is an important and timely resolution. Uh, these are friends of freedom that we're commending today, an institution that, as Mrs. ross Layton pointed out, is not there for cocktail parties or press releases, and it doesn't uh, uh, allow itself to be tarnished like abominable institutions uh, such as the so-called Human Rights Council of the United Nations, to be tarnished by, in effect, in, in effect defending tyrannies. The community of democracies is that, a community of democracies that stands for and believes in freedom and, and democracy. That's why it's appropriate to commend them on their 10th anniversary. I yield back.